What's up guys and welcome back to Software and Audio Solutions and today I'm talking about Call of Duty Warzone, FPS loss or just in general you are getting a bad gameplay experience. Now this morning I woke up and I saw an update for Warzone. I don't know when it was released, it could have been released last night or this morning, I'm not sure but it did like a 400 megabyte update. I'm going to talk about the whole FPS issue that people are having. So listen closely and pay attention. Okay, so every time Call of Duty does an update, there is something wrong with the game. For instance, you go into the game, your graphics settings has been changed to like the worst settings ever. It's not on the resolution you want it. It's not on the render scale that you want it. It's on like 66. It's not on 100. And you have to change it every time. Now, unfortunately, I can't fix that because that is Battle.net itself and that is Warzone. I can't fix that. But what I can do is help you boost FPS. All my Warzone videos I've done so far, I've helped every single person out there. And I do these videos for every single user out there. It doesn't matter what user you are. If you're a laptop user, a desktop user, a console user, I try and help everyone that I can. Now listen closely and pay attention. Okay, so there's a hard way of doing the fix. If your game is still doing a low FPS, there's a hard way of doing it. The hard way of doing it is going to this little gear icon over here and say uninstall. This is highly recommended for people that have fast internet or you are willing to uninstall your game and reinstall your game. Because a lot of files and stuff that come with this game when the new updates are released, the game is completely broken. That is the hard way of doing it. The easier way of doing it is going to this little gear icon over here and say scan and repair. That might fix your issue with your FPS loss because it might have done the update and one of the files is either corrupt, missing, or is just not working with Call of Duty Warzone. Okay, so now I just want to thank everyone out there that is subscribing to my YouTube channel because it means a lot to me. It honestly does. And giving me feedback on my Warzone videos because it honestly means a lot. All these new subscribers, all these people that's leaving comments saying that it worked for them, that they subscribed. Thank you because it honestly means a lot to me that you're subscribing and that I'm making videos for people that it actually helps them. It really means a lot to me. It honestly does. With all my videos that I make, everyone is leaving comments and stuff like that. And it honestly means a lot to me. It really, really does. Thanks to everyone that's subscribing to my YouTube channel. All right, let's jump straight into this. Okay, so Warzone, every time it comes with an update, there is something wrong with Warzone. Now, unfortunately, like I said before in my previous videos, if I was the developer for Warzone, I would have fixed this issue. Okay, now I want to jump over something quickly as well. A lot of people are saying that with my tweaks that they are doing and stuff like that, it works. A lot of people are saying that it works. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It worked for me. Then a lot of other people are saying like, look, um, the game is still getting low FPS or my graphics card is overheating. Now, if you're still getting low FPS, try this by going to this gear icon and say scan and repair. See if that works. If it doesn't work, the hard way of doing this is going to be to uninstall the game, right? And reinstall the game. It's going to be the hard way of doing it. Yes, I know it's a huge, huge game to download. I understand if you've got slow internet, it's not going to be worth your time. And you're going to think like, oh my God, it's, it's going to take forever. And yeah, and yeah, and yeah. But in any ways, for a lot of people that actually worked by uninstalling the game, reinstalling it because of the update. So when you reinstall the game, it installs all the updates that was included through this couple of months or this couple of weeks it installs all of it at once and it fixes the issue so if that fixes your issue then good then that means it fixed your issue i know it's still a long and hard way of doing things but ladies and gentlemen that's just how it goes let's jump straight into this as well where people are talking about your gpu like you know, the temperature is like hitting skyrocket, like 80, 90 degrees and stuff like that. If you're an AMD user, okay, if you are an AMD user and you do not have the best of AMD graphics cards, your graphics card is going to overheat because AMD is known, they are known to overheat, okay, if you're an AMD user. 
if you are a GeForce user or a NVIDIA user, your graphics card might overheat as well, depending on the graphics card that you have. If you have a MSI version, your graphics card might not overheat at all. If you have a ROG Strix version, it might not overheat at all because there are really good cooling solutions, okay? Now, I've got a Gigabyte RTX 2060 OC, the Gigabyte version. It's not the best of cooling solutions, but I can still keep my graphics card cool by using MSI Afterburner. So if you are an NVIDIA user, I highly recommend installing MSI Afterburner and then manually boost your fan speed. It's very easy to do. You do not want your graphics card to overheat because if your graphics card overheats, you're going to lose frames in your game. It doesn't matter if it's Warzone, it doesn't matter what game you play. If your graphics cards overheat, they're going to start throttling, meaning you're going to lose FPS in your game. Doesn't matter what game you play. So I highly recommend installing MSI Afterburner and actually use it. I'm just going to move it to my other screen. Here we go. So I put mine at 90% when I play my games. And when I'm done playing my games, I put it on 50 and I don't do any overclocks. With my card, I overclock it by 100 and 100 and I do my fan speed on 90 when I play games. And I do my temp at 87 and my power limit at 117. So this here, where it says power limit and temp limit, when my graphics card hits 87 degrees, which it won't because I put it on 90% of fan speed, only when my graphics card hits 87 degrees, my graphics card will start throttling. So I'm just going to put this back on one and do my overclock and my 90% fan curve. Okay, so this helps. Use MSI Afterburner. Now, if you're an AMD user, use Radeon Settings. It's an application just like this. It just looks much different. It's a huge block, and you can change your fan curve yourself. If you don't know how to do that, just Google it. It's very easy to do. Just change your fan curve speed so it can actually cool down your graphics card while you're playing your game and this will actually help you trust me just do a little bit of fan curve speed it doesn't need to be on 90 it doesn't need to be on 100 it's your own personal preference as long as your graphics card's temperature comes down now for overseas people or people that live wherever you live right now if you're in Fahrenheit, just make sure that it is at low temperature. If it's at Celsius, just make sure that it's at low temperatures. If it's at low temperatures, your graphics card won't throttle and you won't get FPS loss. Because this is also an issue for Warzone. In any other game as well, if your graphics card overheats, you're going to throttle your graphics card and it's going to lose FPS. Okay, so let me jump over a couple of things here. Here's Warzone. Okay. First thing you do with Battle.net, the very first thing you do with Battle.net, when you open it, go to this over here, go to settings, go to app, this third block over here, make sure it says exit Battle.net completely. So this will exit Battle.net completely once you launch Warzone. Don't put it on this because it's going to minimize it to your system tray and it's going to be over there. Okay, so if your system doesn't have enough resources because of Warzone or because of Battle.net, Battle.net is going to minimize over here at the bottom and it's going to use resources. It's going to use your RAM, it's going to use your CPU, not that much of your graphics card. It actually doesn't really touch your graphics card, but it uses your computer's resources. It uses everything it can, your SSDs, your hard drives, it uses anything it can to let this program run in the background. So just put this on exit, Battle.net completely, say done, scroll down, and do not tick this box where it says use browser hardware acceleration. Do not tick this box. I repeat, do not tick this box. Untick it. If you untick this and you do this and it asks you to restart Battle.net, just restart it and come back into Battle.net. Just say done. Now. Another thing you can do, you go here, you go to show in Explorer. Okay, this is on my other screen. I'm just going to move this. So here is Warzone, okay? I go into it, I scroll down, 
I go to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I right click on it, go to properties, go to compatibility mode, and make sure this says disable full screen optimization. Put that on, especially if you're a low tier gaming PC user and you're getting FPS loss. You can put this on if you are a high tier gaming PC user and it will also help you not lose FPS. Run this game as administrator, it helps a lot so the game doesn't crash or your game doesn't get stutter and stuff like that. This helps a lot. Say apply and go to change high DPI settings. Go here, put this box on and put this on. I open this program. I don't know what kind of English Windows is using, but it should say when I open this program. Click on that, make sure it's on that. And where it says high DPI scaling override, tick on this box and select application. Do not select system, do not select system enhance. These two is going to fuck up your war zone. Do not select these two. Select application, say okay, say apply, say okay. Once you're done with that, you close out of this. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys something. If you're a NVIDIA user like me, right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel. If you do not see this here, just go to the search button over here and type in the video control panel. If you do not find it there, it might be on your desktop or it might be in your start, wherever it is, it might be somewhere. Normally it will just be right click on your desktop and go to the video control panel. Once the video control panel opens, what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview and you're going to go here. Now you can either play around with these two over here where it says use the advanced 3D image settings or you go to use my preference. I highly recommend putting on use my preference if you've got a really good graphics card and a really good cpu and a really good ram setup then put this on balanced if you've got a monster cpu and you know you got a monster cpu and graphics card and ram put this on quality and your game will run fine and just say apply if you've got anything like a mid-tier or a low-tier gaming pc or let's say a mid-tier gaming pc put this on balanced if you've got a low tier gaming PC or gaming laptop, put this on performance and say apply. Then go here, okay? Go here, then from here, you select your graphics card and say apply if you have not done this yet. Do not select your CPU. If you select your CPU, it's not going to use your graphics card, so it won't use the VRAM of your graphics card, it will rather use your CPU. And if you do not have a powerful enough CPU, your CPU is going to throttle. Again, throttling is a very, very important thing. I have a water cooling block on my CPU and my CPU still climbs high because I have a 9700K and it's been overclocked. Now, it doesn't matter what CPU you have. You can have an AMD Ryzen, you can have an Intel, you can have the best CPU on the planet. Do not select CPU, select your graphics card. If it's an AMD, whatever, okay? Select your graphics card. Now, this is for NVIDIA control panel, so it's obviously for NVIDIA users. So use your NVIDIA graphics card and select it. AMD users, I'll get to you just now, okay? Apply that. Once that is done, you go to manage 3D settings, you click here, and you do not change anything in global settings. Do not change anything in global settings i repeat don't this is going to apply every change you do here for windows not just for your game so go to program settings go here this might take a little while because i have a massive ton of games on my pc so this is going to take some time but in any ways while this loads Thanks again to everyone out there that's subscribing to my YouTube channel. It really means a lot to me. It honestly does. Giving me feedback and everything, it means a lot. All right, so here, you can go and select Call of Duty. If you do not find it in here, all you need to do is you go to Add. Click on the Add button. Once the Add button opens, okay, I've got a lot of programs open right now. That's why it's taking long. You go to Call of Duty and you add the selected program, okay? Now, if you do not see this when you click on add, go browse and go browse where your games are on which hard drive it's installed and open up Call of Duty Modern Warfare and put this on off. Say, okay, this one here on off. 
These are for low tier gaming PCs and you're getting low FPS. This might work even if you've got a really good computer. Use these settings. Okay, this you put on off. This you put on off. Okay, we go down. This one here plays a very, very big role because you're going to need to select your graphics card where it says CUDA GPUs. You select your graphics card here, not there because that's global settings. We are not using global settings. So go to use this GPUs. I know it says GPUs, but it will select your graphics card. So select your graphics card and say, okay. Once you're done with that, you go down and where it says virtual sync, you put this on off, put this on allow, put this on off. And this one here where it says texture filtering, keep this at quality. If you've got a good enough computer or a good enough graphics card, keep it on quality because you do not want your game to look not the greatest and stuff like that. If you put this to performance, that's only if you are doing FPS loss or you've got a mid-tier, low-tier gaming PC because this is for all users out there. Put this on performance. If you've got a very low-tier gaming PC or a very low-tier gaming laptop, put this on high performance and you'll see a massive increase in your FPS in your game. Trust me, it does work. Okay, once you're done with that, you just say apply and you go out of this, you go to your search button and you type in graphics settings, just like that. It doesn't need to be capital letters. Click on this. I recently added this game over here. If you see this here, because you've got a really good graphics card, these are for all the latest graphics cards out there. All the lower end graphics card does not have this option. AMD users, if you have a, the older version of the cards, you might not have this option. But if you have this option, switch it on. It might ask you to restart your PC, then restart your PC. It will help you out with FPS. Trust me. Okay. Now, if you do not have this option, don't worry, I got you covered. All you need to do is go to Browse and go to where your game is installed for Warzone. So I'm just going to go to Warzone, go to Warzone and click on this one, which is the EXE file. Do not click on that one because that's not the EXE, it's the launcher. That's the EXE. Say Add and click on Options and say High Performance and make sure that this is on your graphics card. Again. Make sure this is on your graphics card. Say save and go out of this. Okay. Once you're done with that, you go back to the search button over here and you're going to type in edit power plan. Just like that. Doesn't need to be capital letters. I don't know why my caps lock is on. Go to edit power plan like this. And I'm going to show you what you can do here to get more FPS out of your game and make your game run much better. Especially if you're running your game on a mechanical hard drive. Let's put this in simple words, a normal hard drive, not a SSD solid state drive. Okay, so you go to power options and go to create a power plan, select high performance and delete everything inside here and just say for war zone, just like that and say next, put this on never, put this on never and say create where it says for war zone. Now you have created a power plan for war zone. You go to change plan settings and you go to change advanced power settings. Click here, and now you have this one active. So where it says hard disk, if you have a mechanical hard drive or a solid state drive, SSD, it doesn't matter. Put this on never. You do not want your hard disk or your hard drive, or they say hard disk because that's Windows way of English. But in any ways, put this on zero, okay? Type in zero and say apply. Then click on anywhere and it's going to say never. And it will never turn off your hard drive. Especially if you are a mechanical hard drive user. Meaning a normal hard drive. If you have an SSD, you do this as well and it helps. But especially mechanical hard drives. A mechanical hard drive has a disk inside of it that spins. Now... If it's on 10 minutes or 20 minutes, the disk is going to stop at 10 minutes or 20 minutes. It's going to stop. Then when you move your mouse, it's going to start moving again. So make sure this is on never. Okay. A very important step is where it says processor power management. 
you are going to get two options here if you're a laptop user it's going to say on battery and plugged in click on it and it will say on battery and plugged in change them both to 100 percent desktop users you'll only get one option here make sure this is on 100 so just click on the box and type in 100 and then go down and go to maximum processor state and make sure they're both on 100 percent if you're a laptop user and a desktop user just make sure it's on 100 percent if it's not change it okay once you're done with that you say okay and you go out of this and i'm going to show you what you're going to need to do inside of the game to get more fps out of your game all right let's jump straight into that let me show you what you need to do all right ladies and gentlemen as you can see we are in call of duty warzone right now okay now a lot of people on my comments are saying yo dude i was doing 100 fps 120 fps 180 fps but now i'm doing 70 now i'm doing like 60. if you are doing 60 fps solid and it doesn't drop and you capped it maybe at 60 fps you only need 60 fps to do a solid gameplay experience if you got a 60 hertz refresh rate display or refresh rate monitor so putting it on 60 fps and capping it at 60 is fine if you want to see wow yo, i'm doing 400 frames i'm doing 700 frames whatever if you want to see massive fps increase and stuff like that then you uncap it to see how awesome your fps is but no one really cares about that most people care about the gameplay experience the smooth frame rate the game running smooth without fps loss so capping your game at 60 fps is no problem it actually works it makes the game run smooth as you can see i'm doing 200 frames on my graphics card right now in warzone with my settings set to what my settings are these are my personal settings and they work for me i've got a 4k tv if i go here and i go here and i go there and i select this my obs is going to zoom this game in because i'm recording at 1080p not 4k so i keep my 1080p and i get more fps because i'm not going to put this there because then you can see that over there it uses more vram so i put it at 1080p now if you are a 1080p user like let's say a 1080p monitor or a 1080p display okay and you put everything off or on everything on low and stuff like that all those things and you're still getting low fps just change this put this on either 95 like that say apply you'll get more fps out of your game and your game won't look like that don't worry your game will not look like that your game will look like that not like this okay you can play around with it you can put it on 95 or you can put it on 90 and say apply and check your fps just try it out it's all you need to do is just just try it out and see if you get more fps if you get more fps then good then keep it on there and if your game still looks good and you're doing more fps and you or you're, you're doing 60 solid and it's not dropping and it stays at 60 while you're playing while you're in a gunfight whatever the case might be and you're still doing 60 fps or higher keep it at 90 or 95 or 100 you can even drop it to 85 and check your fps apply it and check your fps all right i'm going to jump into a very important step let me just get to that right now and show you guys what you're going to need to do all right ladies and gentlemen let's talk about this okay so the first thing you're going to need to do where it says display mode put this at full screen do not change it to anything else put it on full screen i found out if you play around with these things it makes warzone worse put it on full screen select the monitor you are currently running and select the graphics card you are currently running your refresh rate put it on the refresh rate of your display or your monitor if you've got a 120 hertz monitor a 144 a 240 hertz monitor whatever the case might be then put it on that refresh rate so if you've got 60 put it at 60 if you've got 120 put it at 120 if you've got 144 put it at 144 if you've got 240 put it at 240 okay once you're done with that what you're going to need to do here i already told you guys about this i'm just going to put mine back on 100 and keep mine at 1080p because my game runs fine at 1080p okay this one here 
you put on automatic. Do not change this. Do not even touch this. This, you disable. This one here, you put on unlimited, and you put this on 300, 300, and 300, and you collapse this. This, NVIDIA highlights, disable it. You do not need it. This, disable it. You do not need it. This, you only click on this if your shaders at the top of your screen over here has not finished installing, or has got stuck, or has frozen, or Warzone is just being an absolute bitch, and the game is just fucked up, and the thing is stuck there, then you click on this option, okay? This here, you keep on that. This, you put on low. Do not put this up. Put it on low. This, you can put either on high, or you can put it on normal. Because it eats less VRAM on your graphics card if you put it on normal, and your game will still look like that. Don't worry, your game won't look like horse shit. It won't look like this if you put it on normal, okay? So I'm going to put mine back on high. This, you put on high because you want to see that, not that, because the game's going to look absolutely trash. Put this on high if you want to. You can put this down, but it doesn't do anything to your graphics card, okay? This... Enable this so you can actually see the bullet impact. Tessellation, put this on all because you want to see this, not that, because the game's going to look really crappy, okay? This one here, disable it, go to advance, and make sure it says this, okay? Once you're done with that, you go down. This, you put on low if you want to get more FPS. This plays a big role on different computers, so you can either enable these two things. It could help you. Or it might not. So put it either on disable or enable it. It's your own personal preference. This one here, you can keep on ultra because it does nothing to your computer. So just keep it on ultra. This, disable it. I've got a ray tracing card. It makes the game worse. It eats more VRAM and you don't want it. Okay? But it's your own personal preference. If you've got a really good computer, you can put this on. It doesn't really matter. But I keep mine disabled and I get more FPS out of my game. This, ambient occlusion, put them on both. This, you do not play around with. Don't play with this. Just put this on disabled. This one here, you put on 0.00. You do not want your game to look like that. You want it to look like that. So it's crystal clear. So keep it on 0.00. This, you disable. If you are a 30 series card user, okay? Or a 20 series card user, you can use this option, okay? Own personal preference, again own personal preference but i don't use this i put this on disable and i keep this on here and my game looks absolutely beautiful because it looks like that not like that okay this disable this disable this disable this you put on 0, 0.00 you do not want your game to look like that because it looks pixelated you want it to look pretty clear whatever you want to call it put it on 0, 0 right this one here Disable it, and this one here, you put on 300, and you say apply, and go check your game out. If you get more FPS out of your game, leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new here. I upload videos on a regular basis about Warzone, and as always, peace out.